Um, this is this video is about a subject that I've been thinking of making a video about for a while, but for reasons that become obvious, it's something that you mm, you, he you hesitate over. Um, I went on a training course today um, about mental health. Um, it was actually about the condition obsess OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, and there were. Uh, one of the people giving the course um, suffered from it. Uh, OCD. The other person used to suffer, but, for it, but has, has got over it. And everyone said that it, it's it's in, inspiring, really, to to talk to someone who who seems to have got over the illness. Um, and I can see that. I already knew it, but but it today brought it home. So, um, today I'm going to talk about mental health, my experiences of mental health, um, specifically manic depression, um, otherwise known as bipolar disorder. So I'm going to do it in um, little by little really, um, because that's how I'm comfortable with and I prefer I prefer to watch short videos myself, so I'll, I'll keep it brief. Um, my name's Tony, I'm 43 years old, and 10 years ago, give or take a couple of months, I was diagnosed with manic depression. Um, a year before that, I suffered from depression for the first time. The first 32, something some like 32 years of my life, I had no mental health problems at all. Never thought I'd suffer from depression. I always thought that I was a very optimistic uh, person. Always thought that I was someone who didn't need much in life to be happy. I was well aware that there was uh, more than half the world worse, worse off than myself. But I did, I suffered depression and, it, and that developed into manic depression. I have been hospitalised so far five times in 97 with depression, 99, 2000, 2002 and 2005 being, it's not my favourite word but manic, manic. So I'm going to talk about uh, my experience of manic depression. Um, for two reasons really, um, for anyone who's got, a, if anyone sees this video who's got, who suffers from manic depression himself and is in a worse situation than I am at present, then maybe, I don't know, I can give a little bit of encouragement and sh show things that have worked for me. And the other reason is if there's anyone studying psychiatry, psychology, then if they ask me any questions, um, I might be able to help them in a small way. Um, obviously, I'm run the risk that people uh, make negative comments, but say that it. Um, they're probably not the sort of people whose opinion I'm bothered about anyway. So I will leave it at that for the time being and return to this subject when I've got a little bit more time. Okay, that's the end of this video.